I did my roughly amount estimate. I invested around ten thousand dollars in this business. Uh, What's up everybody on YouTube? How you doing today? It's your boy Michael back again with another great video, man. Today's video I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going more into my personal life and I wanna share you guys with this great, 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 great news, man. I can't wait to share this with my subscribers. So today guys, uh I wanna share this uh video. See these two babies right here. I, I I just don't know how to say it, man. I just started my own business and you know that's what I mean, I'm so happy right now because that's really what I've been trying to do for the past three years since I was 18. I want to start my own business. I have to work hard to save up my money to do what I want to do to start to, you know, put into my ideas. You know, this is so amazing. I mean, I'm so happy right now, guys. And I want to share these details with you guys, with my subscribers, because, you know, you guys are one of the people that I love, man. I love to talk to you guys all the time. So I want to share this idea to you guys. So a lot of you guys wondering, you know, like, you know, we don't we don't really know you. Personally, people don't really know me that personally. So I want to get more personal on YouTube. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of my personal life on YouTube. So that's something that I, I told myself, and I'm gonna start doing it. So guys, uh, me starting this vending machine business have been uh, I've been doing it for a month now. I've been doing this business for a month. I've been doing this business for a month. Right now, I have six vending machine, six vending machine. Fall on a location that I just put on a location last week. I don't know how that's going. I just started that. And I have two vending machines right now in my garage waiting to go on a location, which I have my locators looking for location for me. And uh, this is a pretty cool thing that I just started and I love it. And by the way, I'm 21. And you know, I've been lately thinking about business ideas I want to do because I, I sold cars this year. You know, I sold couple of cars uh, three cars this year and you know that was a pretty cool business it have its ups and down I'm not gonna lie you know it was a tough business for me it was a competition is a lot of competition in car business I like competition which I'm still gonna sell more cars this year but I'm gonna do car I'm gonna do car hunting very soon so but I'm gonna go right I'm gonna stay focused on this uh, on this idea on this business so this vending machine business a lot of uh, a lot of you guys probably been asking how do you come up with a vending machine idea you know, why are you doing vending machine? Are you still gonna be doing YouTube? Are you still gonna be doing, uh, you know, videos? Are you, what, are you, what, what, how do you just, okay, I'm gonna answer this question one by one. How I come up with this vending machine business idea is gonna be a really quick, quick uh, answer. So, one thing I notice about a lot is uh, I like to study my environment. I like to look a lot uh, what is going on around me. That that is just one thing about me. I like to study human beings. So I notice a lot of, when I go places. I see vending machine everywhere, and then I ask myself, you know, what? How can like what is it about this vending machine? You know, because I'm a business guy. I'm an entrepreneur. I, I, I like to know stuff. I like to do stuff by myself. I like to be my own boss. So I ask myself, like, what is this, this about this vending machine? I see a lot of people that buy this. You know, how does the profit work? You know, why are people not going to buy their own stuff? I did a lot of research and I said, okay, wow, this is a pretty cool idea. You know, working on a vending machine, putting my own stuff, restocking it, going every now and then to get my money and move on. And I was like, okay, this is a pretty cool idea. You know, you know what? This is a pretty cool idea. I thought about it for like two months. I talked to a lot of people that have been doing the business for 10 years, five years six years i talked to a lot of people that have been doing the business for a long time and i was like okay this is a pretty cool idea you know what i'm gonna go ahead and execute my plan so first of all i bought my first machine uh i bought my first machine i bought my second machine then i bought four machines right away in in about i give it about two weeks in two weeks i bought six machines and i was really pushing hard on trying to get more machines which when you start off business, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. You're gonna you, there's a lot of stuff that you don't know that you're gonna learn. So I made a lot of mistake, you know, and that's one thing. Like I learned from my mistake, and I know that I'm gonna make more mistake on the way because I'm new to the business, and 
I'm never scared to fail. Like if I fail, I'm gonna stand back up and keep moving, keep pushing, and you know, till I succeed. And then I was like, okay, cool, you know. Right now I have four vending machines in a location. I have two vending machines with me. And people ask me, how has that been going for you? You know, have you seen any profit? And to the answer to that question is, there I haven't seen no profit. I haven't seen any profit because I just started the business. I just started it about two, three weeks ago. And usually when you start a business, you don't see a profit in about a year or eight months or, or seven months. It depends on how much you invested and how much you did on it. So you don't really see a profit ASAP as soon as you start a business. That's what a lot of people don't get. You know, they're all worried about profit, 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 profit. I understand profit is important, but building a business is, you know, it takes time. You know, that's something you gotta learn time to time. You're not gonna learn everything in one year because there are already people in this industry that are smarter than you, that has been doing this for a long time. You need to study your uh, competitions. You need to know what they're doing. All of that, a lot of stuff come with doing your own business. And you know, that's uh, one thing I learned. You know, I used to worry about profit, profit, but now I have to slow down and take more time in learning my business. So another question is, are you gonna stop doing YouTube videos? Are you ever been posting a lot of YouTube videos? No, I'm not gonna stop doing YouTube videos. I really love doing YouTube. That is uh, something that I like being on the camera now. Like every time I get on the camera, it, it makes me feel amazing. It makes me feel really good. And you know, YouTube is one thing that I really, out of the most things that I do, that I really love doing. I mean, I like working on cars and everything. As you can see, some of my YouTube videos, I have uh, cars on it, working on cars. You know, there's one thing that I really love doing, YouTube videos, vlogging, talking to people, doing prank videos, all that type of stuff. I'm, a, I'm an entertainer and I love that, you know, that's one thing I'm never going to stop doing YouTube, you know, till I die. That just, you're going to be seeing videos of me any time that I post it, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm trying to keep up with that schedule. I didn't post last Thursday, I'm sorry guys, I've been so freaking busy, but Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Texas time, I'm going to be posting videos all the time. I'm trying to keep up with that schedule. But yeah, I'm not going to stop doing YouTube. Another question is, you know, you know, how is the business been going for you? How tough it's been, you know, are you, what is, you know, let me, let me put it simple like this. You know, how is the business going so far? I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool, all right, business. One thing about this business, uh, you have to be a problem solver. You know, there's a lot of problems you're gonna encounter on your way. And that is one thing that comes with a lot of uh, businesses. A lot of people don't know how to solve problems. A lot of people are not good at solving problems. So in this business, you gotta be a problem solver. You gotta learn how to solve your own problem. You gotta, eat. you're gonna stress. That is one thing about business. You're definitely gonna stress trying to get stuff done. There's no business that you never stress is, is stress free. No, that's bush, that's BS. There's no business you're gonna go into and you don't stress about it. If you wanna see stuff get done, you're gonna stress about getting it done. That's one thing about business. You know, you gotta have that mentality to get stuff done. And that's one thing I've been dealing with lately, man. I've been dealing with a lot of problems. I've been trying to solve a lot of problems. I'm dealing with the location people to find me more location quicker and quick. I'm putting pressure on them because you know, this is business, you know, you don't play around with uh, money. You don't, you don't play around with business, period, you know. You have to have that business mentality. You have to take stuff serious, man. It's not a joke, you know. When you take, a, uh, uh, trying to play with your business, you're just gonna lose it. And you know, I don't have time to lose my business because I invested a lot of money. So another question is, how much have you invested in this uh, business? So I invested around, so I did my roughly amount estimate. I invested around $10,000 in this business uh, and people ask me where do you get the money from the business you know how do you come up with the money so since I was 18 I've been working hard for the rest of my life I was working a warehouse I was working all type of jobs to get the money that I have to invest in, in this business I save my money a lot and you know because you know I don't want to work for people for the rest of my life you know I really work hard for this money and I till today I'll still work hard to get what I want so Every now, every time I'm pushing hard, pushing myself hard to be a better self, a uh, better person in my life, you know, because I know what I want my life to be. I want to be, I want to really be a businessman. 
and I invested ten thousand dollars in this business, which I mean, that's the money I I didn't use all my money invest in the business. You never do that. That's number one rule. Never use all your money and invest in the business. Play with some of it, you know. If it didn't work out, don't get butt hurt, move on and do another stuff, you know. So I didn't invest all my money into my business. I invested uh, some of my money, which is about $10,000 into the business and, you know, I mean, right now I haven't seen no profit. I haven't seen any profit in the money I invested. I've, I've been taking a lot of loss in this business right now because I'm starting new and I'm okay with it because, you know, after three to after three months, four months, I will tell you how much I'll make on a gross or on, on the net. I will, that's when I'll give you guys updated, but uh, and that is about it, man. That is how much about how much I put it into this business right now. The next question is, you know, what documents do you need to start this vending machine? Uh, really, guys, uh, it's really simple. You don't really need a lot of, uh, you don't really need a bunch of documents, but you just need a few documents to start this business. Uh, it's really simple. You can get your LLC. It's up to you. It depends on how many machines you're starting off with, you know. You can get your LSC, you can get uh you can get your uh DBA, you can get your uh sell tax ID, you can you're gonna get your EI number, like that's probably about it. And you gotta check with your state and with the city with the rules of putting a vending machine in their city. You know, that is about it, man. That is, guys is really it's really a simple process, but you know, doing it, hearing about it sounds hard, but you gotta just do it in order for you to find out if it's gonna work out for you. But this is a cool idea that I've been doing. And as you guys can see, let me show you. This key right now that I have is the key of my asset. You know, this key is what $10,000, this key hold right here. And that is one thing, this is a, 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 a amazing feeling that you know, you're walking around knowing that you have an asset to yourself or you know, walking around knowing that you know you have something stuck somewhere that makes you money without you don't have to be there, you know. You don't, I don't have to be there 24-7 in order for me to make money, that's what I want my life to be. You know, that is a, that is an actual amazing feeling that I have this business idea and, and I put it into action and now it's, it's, it's being tough, it's, the business is tough, but I'm gonna get through this. So guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy uh, me talking, my book crap, whatever it is. Man, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, don't forget to comment on this video, and you know, if you have any question about uh, any about this vending machine business whatever if you have any question please comment down below and let's get it man don't forget to follow me on all my social media and peace out man little mike in the building let's get it